uh, we meet once again. So I believe you are not behaving like uh, electrons which are so adventurous. We expect you to behave like uh, protons which do not move. There is COVID out there, so you need to take good care of uh, yourselves. So in the previous uh, presentations, we've been talking about how you can find uh, resistance on fixed what it? resistors by using the color codes. So today I'm moving a step further by looking at uh, the variable resistors. So we are still under uh, electronic uh, components. So we know that a fixed uh, resistor is the one that has uh, resistance which is uh, fixed. Then variable resistor means that uh, it keeps on uh, changing. It is not what? Constant. So we we'll look at uh, the first one, which is uh, the photocell. So you need to understand what is uh, a photocell. This is just a kind of uh, a resistor that depends. So photo means what? Light. So this kind of uh, a resistor depends on uh, light for its what? It? Operations. So without uh, light, this thing, this is why it depends on for now. Let's just uh, stick to that. Then the other term that you can use is uh, L D R, which is a uh, light dependence what resistor. So meaning it depends on what it? light for its what it? operations. Now, so this is uh, the symbol. You also need to understand the symbol for a photocell or L D R. So the symbol is whereby this is we know this is the symbol for a resistor. Then just a step outside. And that is what? These are rays of what? Light. Meaning that it depends on what? Light. So light is coming towards uh, this what? Uh, photocell. So which means that this is depending on what? Light. So we can say this is what? Light for sure. So LDR. So for this circuit to be functional, it means that uh, this is uh, for the bulb to be on. It, it is going to be depending on this uh, operation. So the way this uh, uh, resistor is going to be operating, that's what uh, this will respond to. So we have uh, the battery, the switch, and uh, these are uh, two components. Now, what is important on this one is to understand this what it, action. What is the action of uh, this uh, LDR? So I can simply say the action, the action of uh, L. D R. So what is up the action? So you can simply say that uh, the L D R depends depends on light for its operation. So LDR depends on uh, light for its what it? operation. So in most cases, this is a component that they use in making those uh, uh, automated what it? bulbs. At night, they switch on on their own. Then during the day, they will switch off. So this is a component uh, that they use. So you need to understand the way it uh, functions. How does it make the bulbs to switch on at night and also switch off uh, during what? the day? So you need to pay much attention. So it depends on, we are saying, for this to operate, it depends on what? It? Light. Now, how does it uh, function? Because this is what? It? A resistor. We're talking about uh, a resistor. And we know that a resistor is supposed to uh, oppose the flow of what? It? Charge. So the way it functions, during the day, a bulb, if it is connected to a bulb, during the day, the bulb is going to be off. Then at night, the bulb is going to be on again. So it means that this type of uh, a resistor controls uh, the voltage. So if it is there to control the voltage, meaning it can also switch on at a certain point and it can also switch off at a certain what, it, point. So how does it control now the bulb to be switching on at night and also to be switching off uh, at night? So we know that uh, since it depends on uh, um, light, so you can simply say that uh, if the light intensity is uh, increased, then the resistance. Reduces. 
So if uh, the light intensity is up, increased, it means that uh, resistance is going to do what? Reduce. So what is important there, we, let's assume this is a uh, part of uh, the circuit. Then this bulb is depending on this to switch on and uh, off. So during the day, this bulb is going to be off. Of course, this is just a simple circuit, but for this to work effectively, it needs uh, a transistor. So for now, let's just uh, assume the transistor is also part of uh, this uh, circuit. So for this bulb to be on during uh, the day, it means that uh, uh, to be off during uh, the day, it means that uh, the light intensity is uh, increasing and resistance on this bulb is uh, uh, reducing. So when resistance reduces, it means that uh, even the voltage also reduces. So what is important is uh, knowing what ohms are. No, we know that uh, resistance is equal to V over what? Current, like that. So we know that uh, resistance is uh, directly proportional to what? Voltage. So that's directly proportional. So which means that if you reduce this, you are also reducing what? The voltage. If you increase the resistance, you are also uh, increasing what? The voltage. So this is why we are saying that uh, um, a photo cell, it is there to determine during the day. We know that uh, the light intensity is uh, high. So which means that uh, resistance is going to do what? Reduce. Then at night, the light intensity is uh, low. Which means that uh, resistance is going to do what? Increase. So once resistance reduces during the day, it means that even the voltage reduces. At night, resistance is going to increase because the light intensity is up low, meaning that even the voltage is going to do what? Increase. So this is the way it functions. So what you need to understand is just this part. That's what is important on this kind of a resistor. So take for instance, during the day on this circuit, we know that uh, if uh, light intensity is uh, increased, it means that uh, resistance is going to do what? Reduce. So when resistance reduces, the bulb is going to be off because that uh, voltage is also reduced. Because they're saying resistance and voltage, they are direct what? Proportion. It means that uh, resistance reduces, even the voltage is going to reduce. Meaning that uh, there will be no energy that is going to be supplied there. The bulb is going to be off. Then at night, the same is going to occur. At night, you know that uh, the light intensity is going to be low. Meaning that this bulb, the voltage is going to increase because resistance is going to do what it increase. So for the sake of uh, simplicity, let me do this. So you can say this side during the day. Then let's say night. So during the day, we have uh, the light intensity. So we can simply say this is a light. So during the day, uh, light intensity is what? We are talking about a light. It's a high, then there at night is what? It? Low. Then what is happening to resistance? So let me use uh, resistance. So during the day, resistance is what? It? Low. Then at night, because the uh, light intensity is low, it means that uh, resistance is going to be high, like that. Then what is happening to voltage? What is voltage there? So during the day, because uh, resistance is uh, low, it means that uh, even voltage is going to be what? Low. Then at night, we know that uh, resistance has been uh, increased, even uh, voltage is going to be increased. So, this is what you are saying. At night, it means that uh, the bulb, because uh, once the uh, resistance increases, even uh, the voltage is going to increase, so meaning the bulb is going to be on. It will allow a lot of uh, voltage to flow there and uh, power up what? The bulb. Then, there we know that during the day, uh, the voltage is what? It? The voltage is going to be uh, low. Why? Because resistance has been uh, reduced. Hence, uh, making it pos uh, impossible for voltage to, uh, to flow and power up what? the bulb. So this makes what? the bulb to be off during uh, the day. So this is uh, the operation of uh, the LDR. So what is important is just understanding the equation which is there so that uh, 
uh, when when resistance increases, it means that voltage increases. When this uh, reduces, even there it uh, reduces. So that's what we can say about uh, uh, LDR. So we are looking at another type of uh, a variable resistor. It is also an electronic what component, a thermistor. So how does uh, a thermistor operate? So you also need to understand uh, the action uh, or the way it uh, operates. So we can say action over a thermistor. So we can say a thermistor depends depends on temperature. So it depends on a temperature for its uh, operation. So this one depends on a temperature. LDR depends on a light intensity. This one depends on what? Temperature. And this is uh, the symbol. So we have this is uh, a resistor there, then there is uh, a slash there. So this is uh, the way you're supposed to draw the symbol for a thermistor. So it's uh, important that you know the symbol. Now, since you're saying that this one depends on a temperature for its uh, operation, so how does it uh, operate? Because you're saying this is also a resistor. So when it is a resistor, it is there to resist the flow of a charge in a circuit. Also, this one mostly it works up together with a, a transistor. So it can also be used to control uh, those automated uh, bulbs. During the day, it is uh, going to be off. Then at night, it is, it is going to be on. So we can use also a thermistor there. So how does it control now this bulb to be on and off during uh, the day or at night? So. What you need to understand is that uh, we can say when when the temperature when the temperature increases then resistance reduces so that's what is important to understand there. So when the temperature increases, it means that uh, resistance is going to be what it reduce. So we know that uh, during the day, okay, during the day the temperature is uh, increasing, it's going to increase, so making resistance to do what it reduce. So that's why during the day the bulb is going to be off. Why? Because uh, the resistance there it is going to be reduced. When temperature is uh, increased, it means that resistance is going to be low. When resistance is up low, it means that even voltage is going to be low. Hence, the bulb is going to be what it off. Then at night is up the opposite. We know that at night the temperature is going to do what it reduce. So when the temperature reduces, it means that a the thermistor there, resistance is going to do what it increase. Once a resistance increases, it means that also the voltage has increased. So for the sake of our simplicity, we can do this again. So let's do this. We have uh, so let's say this is up during the day, then night at night. So we have uh, we start with up. Uh, this is the temperature, then uh, resistance, then uh, voltage up uh, there. So we know that uh, during the day the temperature is up uh, going to be high. Then at night it's going to be low. So meaning that uh, when the temperature is up uh, high during the day, it means the resistance is going to be low. Then at night when uh, the temperature is up uh, low, then resistance is going to be high. Then the voltage, once uh, if the resistance is up uh, low, it means also the voltage has uh, reduced. So the voltage is going to be low. Then this one, it is going to be the same there. So that's why at night you find that uh, the bulb is going to be on. Why? Because uh, resistance has uh, increased, also voltage is going to increase. During the day, resistance has reduced, also voltage is going to do what it uh, reduce. So this also depends on uh, ohms. Uh, so since you're saying this is a uh, voltage over what it current. So it's the same application with uh, the LDR, except that uh, the thermistor depends on what it 
temperature. LTR depends on what? Light intensity. So when you increase uh, temperature, it means uh, reducing resistance there. If you reduce uh, temperature, it means uh, you're increasing what? Resistance. So it's very important that you understand uh, these uh, two types of uh, variables, uh, variable resistors, and also part of uh, electronic uh, components. So as for today, this is uh, where we end. Thank you.